Hey guys, on this episode I'm going to show you a cheap way to pump water out of your basement or anywhere you have water that's stuck. This isn't something, uh, this isn't a solution that you want to use if you have serious water issues. You want to get like a sump pump for your house, but in my case I have a little concrete um, area between my basement and my kind of crawl space and water will pool when it rains a lot here. So it's been raining for five days straight and now I have probably it's like a four foot by four foot by four foot section that's full of water and I need to pump it out because I don't want water kind of like still water underneath my house so this is the cheapest way I've found it's even cheaper than using a bilge pump for a um, for a boat now if you want an automatic solution that would be the best way to do it you get a bilge pump and then you get a automatic lever and you have to wire it up so then when the water shows up the, it triggers the, the mechanism and then it'll pump the water but that costs a lot more and you have to know what you're doing with wiring and I really don't know what I'm doing with this, so I just found the cheapest way. So let me uh, show you what I've got set up. Okay, so now I'm at the back of my house. Before we go in there, it's gonna get really dark and I have a headlamp and a light um, for filming my other videos, but it probably will still be really dark. So I'll show you what the pump I have is. It's a fountain pump and it's really strong. I had to do a lot of research to find one that will pump the water. I need at least four feet vertical and then it can gravity feed out into the drain in the other side. I basically have like a, a concrete um, uh, foundation with this little hole that was cut in that's probably like three feet by three feet or something like that and so I need at least the three feet of concrete plus another additional foot going down into the dirt to pump the water out so what I found is a fountain pump and then the hosing you have to get a very specific hose that will fit on it and then also got one of those um, hose clamps so uh, let's check this out. Okay, so this is the pump and I'll link this up on Amazon. I'll also try to link this up on Amazon. I got this locally. It's um, it's like vinyl tubing and it's the, um, yeah, you need this. It's a uh, half inch or five eighths inch or whatever. You need this exactly because if it doesn't fit snugly on this thing, then it'll just pop off when the water comes shooting through. So I actually bought another one that was rigid and it didn't work. And I tried to cut it and make it work, but you need to have the exact um, tubing. This thing also comes with three different nozzles, but I, this is the smallest hose. There's ones that are bigger with bigger nozzles for more flow, but I wanted more pressure because I needed it to go vertically four feet. And then I also got this hose clamp here, which worked out perfect. I've already tested that, this thing out. You can see there's some water in here. And this thing, just uh, to make sure you have the exact one, it's a 5 16th to 7 8th. Um, you might be able to get one that's even smaller, but that was about a buck. I'll link that up too on Amazon. I'm sure they have them on there. I got that locally though at a hardware store. So it's time to go into the dungeon. So you can see here there's some water in the bottom. This was actually, this was actually like two feet higher before, actually more, two and a half feet higher. It's gone down quite a bit, but I'm still going to use a pump to pump this out. Um, I just found a dead rat in here, so I had to get rid of that first. There's a bunch of junk and garbage in there too. Um, I just moved into this house, so there's a lot of work to do. And I'm just kind of going through and fixing the stuff um, that is absolutely mandatory first. And then I'll deal with, you know, going in there, cleaning all this crap up. Okay, so the next step here is to drop this down in there. And then um, to turn this on. So what I've done here is I got a power bar. And I can just, because this thing will turn on automatically. So I'm just going to plug into the power bar and then I can just come down here once a month when it's raining a lot and just flick the switch and then it'll get rid of the water. So it's not automatic, but it's a pretty simple solution. Okay, so now I'm going to, sorry, my furnace just turned on, but I'm going to lower this down into the water. Okay, so you can see the pump down there in the in the water now. There's only about half a foot of water in there, so it's actually receded a lot. It was actually up about three and a half, four feet. So now we're gonna turn this on and see what happens. Look at that, it works. I just flipped the switch, and now we can just As simple as that. There's a few kinks in here, which is not good. But... 
Amazing. Oh. So I'm going to check the water level now, see how it is. I'm going to just take a look here. And this hose just goes out here. So you notice here I actually have a sump pump. And so the sump pump, um, that sump pump keeps my whole basement um, dried out because I guess the person who owned this house uh, before it um, flooded this whole basement and so they put in a sump pump. But I just moved in not too long ago, only uh, just, a, just a year ago. And so I'm just trying to fix stuff and learn what the real problems are here. So it's still pumping. We'll see how long it takes. It's starting to make noise, sucking in air, which is probably a bad thing, but... So I ended up tipping over the pump sideways so it could suck in more water at the very, very bottom. And a bunch of gross, really murky, nasty water came out, which is good. And it's mostly gone, so we'll just see if we can get a shot in here. You can see it's um, mostly gone. There's just a little bit of water left. Not much I can do with that. It'll dry up. But uh, yeah, I don't want any nasty um, rat water in the bottom of my house. So hopefully you guys found this video useful. You can give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. I'll link up any of the products I can find. Uh, for sure, the pump. Uh, I bought that online. I'll link that up for sure in the description. And until next one, have a great day.